Okay, it's time to look at how to calculate hydrogen ion concentration based on pH or pOH. Now, in order to do this, the most important thing to understand is that hydrogen ion calculation and pH are the two quantities related to each other. And the only way you're going to get here from pOH is to turn pOH into pH and then into hydrogen ion concentration. So, this is all based around the idea that pH is the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration. Now, if you are given the hydrogen ion concentration, you take negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration and there's your pH. But the other way around, if you are given the pH and asked to find the hydrogen ion concentration, it's not as simple as just dividing both sides by log. Log is not a number, it's a function. So what you do with this is you have to do the opposite of log, which is 10 to the power of something. So the opposite of negative log is 10 to the power of negative something, as in 10 to the negative pH equals hydrogen ion concentration. Okay, so in order to do that, well, we're going to, well, I should say we're going to apply this to these things here in order to get the hydrogen ion concentration it's all going to go through this so what you the viewer would want to do is if you feel like you can do this pause the video now and work on these if you'd like to see some examples see the examples and then I will put up the answer key to the rest of these after I'm done with the example so you could pause then and work it out and then look at the answer key um, either way let's get this zoomed in so I can at least start by going through the examples so pH of 7.32, how am I going to find the hydrogen ion concentration? Certainly I'll want to begin with this 10 to the negative pH equals hydrogen ion concentration, which means 10 to the negative 7.32 is hydrogen ion concentration, which is equal to a number that I'll write off to the side. Now, um, in order to do that on the calculator, there's a few things that need to be considered with that. So let's bring the calculator into view. And uh, let's zoom this out so you can see what I'm doing on the calculator. So I'm going to find the, I'm going to take 10 to the negative 30 second. Now, in order to make that a little easier to see, let's zoom in on the calculator at least a little bit. Okay, there you go. That should be good. Now, um, there are two ways to do it. There is a longer way, 10 to the, in parentheses, negative 7.32, uh, which will give you the right answer, but that is a longer, more clumsy way to do it. That can cause problems with order of operations so instead it's better to use the button that in many calculator models is right on top of the log button so let's zoom that in to show you what I mean okay there's the log button and then above it is the second function which is 10 to the x it's the same thing as what you just saw so if and I'll zoom out of it so you can see what it looks like on the calculator screen you do second function 10 to the x. Now you're ready to do 10 to the power of something. I just put negative 7.32 and I've got the same answer again. Um, now that being said, I'm not done yet because if I'm going to write the answer it needs to be using scientific notation and the number's so big or rather it's got so many zeros that doesn't even fit on the screen. So you need to put it in scientific notation mode to show scientific notation. Now um, on this particular model it's right here it's a second function again. Different models, it might be in different places, but when I do it here, I get this option. Currently, floating decimal is just a regular number. Scientific notation is what this is. So I go over, select it, press enter, and now it shows the exact same answer, but as scientific notation. Uh, let's see, 7.32, 3 sig figs, so 3 sig figs here, 4.79 times 10 to the negative eighth moles per liter. So let's put that on here. 4.79 times 10 to the negative 8th moles per liter. And I'll box that answer. Okay, and that's the first one. Now, next one, POH 2.11. Uh, Alright, how am I going to get that? Well, big thing here is, if you do this, 10 to the negative pH, 
that's not going to, well, that will get you hydrogen ion concentration, but this isn't pH. Okay, in fact, if you take 10 to the negative pOH, what you wind up with is not hydrogen ion concentration. 10 to the negative pOH is hydroxide ion concentration. And that's not what we're looking for. The question is, this thing is asking us to find, calculate hydrogen ion concentration. So what we're going to do is turn this into pH. So 14 minus 2.11 equals pH. And by the way, what I'm getting at here, just a little reminder of how do I know to do that, that's because pH plus pOH equals 14. So 14 minus pH equals pOH. 14 minus pOH equals pH. So 14 minus pOH. 14 minus pOH equals pH. 14 minus 2.11 is 11.89. And that's the pH. Now I can do 10 to the negative pH, which means 10 to the negative 11.89. And that's going to give me the hydrogen ion concentration. And uh, just to put that up again, I'll once again run that through on the calculator. So I've reset it back to standard mode and whatever. So second function, 10 to the x. It's right above the log button. And then uh, the pH was 11.89, so negative 11.89. So 10 to the power of negative 11.89 equals that. Now, it already went into scientific notation because the number was so tiny, so I didn't need to force it to change over. Um, had I needed to, I would have gone second function scientific notation and chosen scientific notation and gotten this. So anyway, um, the rule about significant figures is whatever your last function is, you follow the rules for that. The last function was this right here, 10 to the negative 11.89. That's basically going to follow the same rules as multiplication and division. So, under those rules, there's three sig figs here, so I'll pick three sig figs in the final answer, which is 1.29 times 10 to the negative 12th moles per liter hydrogen ion. Now, as for the next one, pH, so great, I can just go straight to 10 to the negative, 10 to the power of negative pH, but just to point out, yes, you can have a negative pH. This is negative 0.21. It means it's basically just a really strong acid. So concentration of hydrogen ion is 10 to the negative pH, which is 10 to the opposite of negative 0 0.21, which is the same thing as 10 to the 0.21. So right the opposite the ne opposite of a negative is a positive number the negative of a negative so 10 to the 0 0.21 power let's see put the calculator back on default mode again by the way if in case you didn't see it the way i put it on default mode for this particular model i push the on and the clear button at the same time and that clears all settings memory cleared all right back to default anyway 10 to the power of 0.21 equals a number that doesn't even have scientific notation. It's just 1.6218, blah, blah, blah. Uh, two significant figures means the answer is going to have two significant figures. So del or concentration of hydrogen ion is 1.6 molar. Okay, so that would take care of that. Now, what I will do is give you a moment to, uh, there we go, look at some other problems. Um, pause now to solve them. I'll put the answer key up in just a moment. And here we go. So let's zoom that out so you can see the answer key. Just in a little bit. Okay, there we go. So this is the answers for all eight of the questions. And you know, in these cases, two sig figs because of two sig figs because they fall in the multiplication division rules. Here, yes, there is addition and subtraction, but the last thing you did follows the multiplication division rule. So you follow the rules for that, which is three sig figs, three sig figs. 
Um, last thing I did was multi basically multiplication division rules apply. So three sig figs, three sig figs. So there you go. That should take care of it. All right. Happy studies.